Hi, my name is Officer Rosales, and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Can I see your permanent resident card, your passport, and any form of ID? Thank you. I'm gonna be taking your fingerprints. Can you please put your right index finger on the scanner? Now, can you please put your left index finger on the scanner? Now we're gonna do the civic test. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions. You need to answer at least six of them correctly to approve this portion of the interview. What does the Constitution do? What is the rule of law? We elect a president for how many years? What does the president's cabinet do? What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Who is the father of our country? Name one problem that led to the Civil War. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Okay, now we're gonna do the reading and writing test. On this tablet that I'm putting in front of you, there's gonna appear a sentence. Can you please read the sentence out loud? Thank you. Now, can you please grab the pen that is behind the tablet and can you please write on the tablet the following sentence? The United States flag is red, white, and blue. The United States flag is red, white, and blue. The United States flag is red, white and blue. Done. Thank you. Congratulations, you approved this portion of the interview. Can you please give me your full legal name? Um, is there anything you need to update on your application? Okay. Would you like to change your name? What changes are you going to make to your name today? Okay. Can you give me your name as you will like it to be? Okay. What other names have you used in the past? How did you become a permanent resident? Okay. Are your parents US citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? What is your date of birth? Okay, and where were you born? What is your social security number? Okay, 
How tall are you and how much do you weigh? What is your address? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que si te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta, ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. And what is your previous address? How long have you lived at this current address? Mm, what is your marital status? How many times have you been married? Have you ever been divorced? What is your spouse's name? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? How many children do you have? Are you the biological parent of your children? Where do you work? How long have you worked there? Okay. When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where do you travel to? How long was this trip for? What date did you come back? Okay, what was the purpose of this trip? How many times have you traveled out of the United States in the last five years? How many days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Why do you want to become a United States citizen? Now I'm going to ask you some general questions. Can you please answer yes or no? to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a United States citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local elections in the United States? Do you now have, or do you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined into a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Okay. Usually when you file your taxes, do you have to pay taxes or do you receive a refund? And how do you file your taxes? By yourself? Jointly? Okay. I understand. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? What is communism? 
Have you ever advocated either directly or indirect the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, that you worked for or associate in any way, either directly or indirectly, with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. Were you ever a member of or that you ever served in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilant unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. What is genocide? Okay, what is a militia? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any other following? A prison or jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay, okay? Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization to use a weapon against any person or threaten to do so? Did you ever self give or provide weapons to any person or help another person self give or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary weapons training? How about back in your country of origin? Did you ever receive any type of military training? Do you understand what a weapon is? What is a weapon? Thank you. Did you ever recruit and list conscript or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that help or support people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? What is cited? Okay, have you ever been charged with committed attempting to commit or assisted in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? How about back in your country of origin? Have you ever placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitated program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence being placed in probation or being paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunker? Have you ever been a prostitute procuring anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Marry someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Help anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally. Gamble illegally or receive income from illegal gambling. Fail to support your dependents or to pay alimony. Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. What is a habitual drunker? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? 
Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? What is deportation? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who live in the United States at any time between your 18 and 26th birthday? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the full road of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay. Congratulations, you have approved your citizenship interview. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.